Okay, hi all my LGBT friends and others. We're continuing on with Genesis uh, 43. <clears throat> and we're in uh, verse, uh, I'll start back on 21 just to, to make sure that the other one carried over. <clears throat> okay. And it came to pass when we came to the end that we opened our sacks and behold, every man's money was in the mouth of the sack and our money in full weight. And we have brought it again in our hand. And my, our other money have we brought down in our hands to buy food. We cannot tell who put our money in our sacks. And he said, Peace be to you. Fear not. Your God and the God of your father hath given you treasure in your sacks. I had your money, and he bought, brought Simeon out unto them. And the man brought the men into Joseph's house and gave them water, gave them, and they washed their feet, and he gave their asses provender. And they made ready the present against Joseph, came at noon, and they heard that they should eat bread there. And when Joseph came home, they brought him the present which was in their hand unto the house and bowed themselves to him to the earth. And he asked them of their welfare and said, Is your father well, the old man of whom you spoke? Is he yet alive? And they answered, Thy servant, our father is good health, he is yet alive. And they bowed down their heads and made obstinance. And he lifted up his eyes and saw his brother Benjamin, his mother's son, and said, Is this your younger brother of whom you spoke unto me? And he said, God be gracious unto thee, my son. And Joseph made haste, for his bowels did yearn upon his brother. And he sought where to weep, and he entered into his chamber, and he wept there. And he washed his face, and he went out and refrained himself, and said, Set on bread. And they set on for him by himself, for, he, for them by themselves, and for the Egyptians did he eat with them, by themselves, because the Egyptians may not eat bread with the Hebrews, for that is an abomination unto the Egyptians. And they sat before him the firstborn according to his birthright, and the youngest according to his youth, and the men marveled at one another. And he took and sent messes unto them before, from before him. But Benjamin's mess was five times so much as any of theirs. And they drank, and they were merry with him. Chapter 44. <clears throat> Joseph's policy to stay Benjamin. Judah's humble supplication to Joseph. And he commanded the steward of his house, saying, Fill the men's sacks with food, as much as they can carry, and put every man's money in his sack mouth. And put my cup, the silver cup, in the sack's mouth of the youngest, and his corn money, and he did according to the word that Joseph had spoken. And as soon as the morning was light, the men were sent away. They had they and their asses. And they were gone out of the city, and not yet far from Joseph, said unto his steward, Up, follow after the men. And when thou dost overtake them, say unto them, Wherefore have ye rewarded evil for good? Is this... Is not this it in which my Lord drinketh, and whereby indeed he divineth? You have done evil in so doing. And he overtook them, and he spoke unto them these same words. And they said unto him, Wherefore saith my Lord these words? God forbid that they, thy servants should be according to this thing. Behold the money which we found in her sack's mouth, we brought again unto thee out of the land of Canaan. How, how then should we steal out of the Lord's house silver or gold? With whomever of thy servants it be found, both let him die, and also will be my Lord's bondsman. And he said, Now also let it be according unto thy words, be with whom it is found, shall be my servant. And yet ye shall be blameless. Then they speedily took down every man his sack to the ground and opened every man's sack. And he searched and began at the eldest and left the youngest. The cup was found in Benjamin's sack. And then they rent their clothes and they 
and laden every man his ass and returned to the city. And Judah and his brethren came to Joseph's house, for he was yet there. And they fell before him on the ground. And Joseph said unto them, What deed is this that ye have done? Wot not ye such a man? Can I certainly divine? And Judah said, What shall we say unto my Lord? And what shall we speak? Or how shall we clear ourselves? God has found out the iniquity of thy servants. Behold, we are my Lord's servants, both we and he also with whom the cup is found. And he said, God forbid that I should do so, but the man in whose hand the cup is found, he shall be my servant. As for you, get up in your peace unto your father. Then Judah came near unto him and said, O oh, my Lord, let thy servant, I pray thee, speak a word into my Lord's ears. Let not thy anger burn against thy servant, for thou art even as Pharaoh. My Lord asked his servants, saying, Have ye a father or a brother? And we said unto my Lord, We have a father, an old man, and a child of his old age, a little one, and his brother is dead, and he alone is left of his mother, and his father loveth him. And thou sayest unto thy servants, Bring him down unto me, that I might that, uh, that I may set my eyes upon him. And we said unto the Lord, The lad cannot leave his father, for if he should leave his father, his father would die. And thou sayest unto the servants, Except your youngest brother come down with you, you shall see my face no more. And it came to pass, when we came up unto the servant, my father, we told him the words of my Lord. And, my, and our father said, Go again and buy us a little food. And we said, We can't go down if our younger brother is not with us. Then we will go, you know, if he is with us, then we will go down. For we may not see the man's face except that our younger brother be with us. And thy servant, my father, said unto us, You know that my wife bare me two sons and went out from me. And I said, Surely he is torn in pieces. And I saw him not since. And ye take this also from me, the mischief befall him, ye shall bring down my gray hairs with sorrow to the grave. Now therefore I came to thy servant, my father, and the lad be not with us, seeing that his life is bound up in the lad's life. And it shall come to pass, when he seeth that the lad is not with us, he will die. And the servant shall bring down the gray hairs of thy servant, our father, with sorrow to the grave. For thy servant became surety for the lad unto my father, saying, If I bring him not to thee, then I shall bear the blame to my father forever. Now therefore I pray thee, let thy servant abide instead of the lad, a bondsman to my lord, and let the lad go up and be with his brethren. For I shall go up my, to my father, and the lad be not with me, lest preadventure I see the evil that shall come upon my father." Chapter 45. Then Joseph could not refrain himself before all of them and stood by him. And he cried, Because every man to go out from me, and there stood no man with him, while Joseph made himself known unto his brethren. And he wept aloud, and the Egyptians in the house of the Pharaoh heard. And Joseph said unto his brethren, I am Joseph. Does my father yet live? And his brother could not answer him. For they were troubled at his presence. And Joseph said unto his brethren, Come near to me, I pray you. And they came near. And he said, I am Joseph your brother, whom you sold into, the, into Egypt. Now therefore be not grieved, nor angry with yourselves that you sold me hither. For God did send me before you to preserve life. In these two years hath the famine been in the land, and yet there are five years in which there shall be neither earing nor harvest. And God sent me before you to preserve you a prosperity in the earth and to save your lives by a great deliverance. So now it was not you that sent me hither, but God. And he made me a father to Pharaoh and the Lord of all of his house and the ruler throughout all of the land. Haste ye and go up to my father and say unto him, Thus saith thy son Joseph, God hath made me Lord of all of Egypt. Come down unto me, and tarry not. And thou shalt dwell in the land of Goshen, and thou shalt be near unto me. 
thou and thy children and thy children's children and thy flocks and thy herds and all of thou and all that thou hast. And there I will nourish thee. And yet there are five years of famine, lest thou and thy household and all of thou that hast come to poverty. And behold, your eyes see, and the eyes of my brother Benjamin, that is my mouth that speaketh unto you, that you shall tell my father of all the glory of Egypt and all that ye have seen, and you shall haste and bring down my father hither. And be fell upon his brother Benjamin's neck, and he wept, and Benjamin wept upon his neck. Moreover,